Okay, so what we're going to go over today is a little bit of solar water heating, kind of what it is, how it integrates with the home, and what the financials are of solar water heating. So, the basics um, with building a new home is that you're putting two panels on the roof. Two panels just to integrate directly into your water heater. It's not electric generation, it's not space heating, it's directly to your water heater itself. So, uh, what that is, is, a, is a, you put the water heater in lieu of putting in a gas water heater, electric water heater, you're putting in a, a, a solar water heater that has a gas or electric backup in there. So we're not taking capacity away, we're adding efficiency to the, to the system itself. So just to go over, just to quickly review, uh, go over a couple of different things. Solar water heating is different from solar pool heating. Solar pool heating is actually putting panels on the roof to directly heat the pool water itself. Uh, one of the simplest solar technologies because there's no heat exchanger, there's no light heat generation. You're just taking your pool water, heating it, and bringing it back down. It's one of the simplest technologies. The other technology that most people think about is the, you know, the famous technology is solar PV, solar photovoltaic electric generation. This is actually putting panels on the roof to generate electricity to tie into the grid. One of the most famous, but also one of the most expensive. So we're going to. For purposes of today, we're going to go over solar water heating and focus on that and how that integrates into the home. What we've got, um, why we consider solar water heating the best choice of solar technologies, uh, it's got the lowest upfront cost, it's the easiest integration into the construction process, environmental benefits, it's a smart investment. Uh, we'll go over all the financials as, as, the, as the presentation goes along, but uh, keep these things in mind. As you know, as a homeowner, as a builder, what you're looking for in a home, and how to better advertise a home, or how to integrate into your home, or what makes the most sense. Yeah, that'd be great. Help out. All right. Uh, as a homeowner, what you're looking for is added value to the home, a system that adds value but also adds comfort to the home. So. A few features here, we're looking at installing a solar water heating to actually increase the home's value. Uh, there's a lot of different perceptions of solar out there, perceptions left in the 80s that say, well, solar's you know, the hippie thing over here, or now solar's too expensive now. So what we're trying to do is, is bridge that gap and find a solar system that is going to be both cost effective and mainstream. And I'll show you some images of how it's really become a mainstream solution for many homes. Uh, as far as added value to the home, what you're doing is actually the same thing you're doing with Energy Star, which is decreasing your home's bills, which in, in essence adds value. If someone, if you don't have to pay as much in energy bills, you can afford a higher mortgage. Uh, so that, in essence, adds value to the home. Uh, keeping the home as, as far as reliable energy, electric costs. Uh, we'll go through payback here in a little bit as well. So when you think about a solar water heating system, there are a couple different design options. The Southern Energy helps to determine what's the best solution uh, as far as technology, different ways the system's done, uh, heat exchangers, other things like that. Southern Energy walks through to make sure you've got the best design. Uh, but typically what you're looking at, a home such as this, you've got a tankless water heater in here, which St. Holmes puts in. I don't know if it's a standard in the homes, but it's, a, it's certainly the most efficient option. What you look at is putting in a solar water heater to preheat to that tankless. So we have two panels on the roof, an 80 gallon tank to preheat that tankless. What that does is 60 to 75% of the time, the tankless unit will not even turn on. It just bypasses directly around that tankless unit. So while you do have an efficient tankless unit in the crawl space or in the basement, you've got a solar system that doesn't even require that tankless unit to come on. So you've got uh, a system that while you've got a tankless unit that is 20-25% more efficient than the standard tank, that doesn't even come on 80% of the time. So you've got a unit that's going to provide on an annual basis 80% of your hot water needs, which is a huge energy draw on the home. Uh, we'll go to the next slide. We'll just fly through some of these. What we do as far as looking at a site, uh, the disclaimer on this is solar water heating doesn't work with all sites. There, in, in it, you've got to have the right some exposure, you gotta have the right orientation. So, what we do is we work with the builder, work with the homeowner, and determine what's, you know, what roof I'm looking at, what the orientation of the home. We can start with the early phase with the plans to make sure we've got the right exposure, right orientation of the home, to make sure that we've got the right solution for the home. Uh, what we're looking for is ideally four, about four hours minimum 
uh, per day of sun. That's wintertime sun, so that's you know the worst case scenario in the wintertime when the sun's lower on the horizon. In the summertime, you're going to get sun. We know in North Carolina there's no, no issue with getting sun down here and getting plenty of heat. So we designed what we're looking at is in December when the sun's lowest, making sure we've still got plenty of sun to be able to heat those panels. Um, due south orientation or within 30 to 45 degrees of different types of panels and collectors that can, uh, can be a solution there. Uh, a lot of people think when they're driving around they see panels tilted up on roofs and, and all kinds of angles. For aesthetic value of resale in homes like this, home like stand homes, we're going to mount directly surface mount to the roof and I'll show you some images of what that looks like. This is an example of us putting up some panels. Uh, you see how it's, it's directly mounted directly to the roof. But what you're looking at, um, as far as what most people are going to ask, how much does it cost? How much is it going to add to my home? Uh, Pledge is about 8000 uh, before any incentives add about added cost to the home. So $8,000 is what number you want to keep in mind, added cost to the home. But uh, we'll go through the, we'll go through the details.